Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna get the rest of this console taken apart, so here we go. Okay, well, we've got all of the modules pulled. So here is what it looks like on the inside. I did not budget my space accordingly when I was pulling these modules out. So they're kind of stacked up everywhere in my shop. So here's what everything looks like on the inside. Here's one through 24 all gone. And again, here's some dust. It's just really dusty in here, but I, I have certainly pulled apart newer mixing consoles that were in installs and theaters and things like that. Or, you know, if you look at stuff that came back from a festival, it is certainly dirtier, M more dirty, dirtier, dirtier. Let's go with dirtier than this. But this is what this looks like on the inside here. Um, so the two fans that you're looking at right here, that's the uh, VCA section. Those are the those are the fans in the console. Um, so this is the uh, patch section here. This is the highest density of, of stuff back here. So this is the back of the Harding connector where all of the um, all the lines come into the board. And then one of the cool things um, is uh, when you're looking at the, the cards, um, I'm guessing that this is power. Um, I don't know if I, I would love for someone to tell me what that is. I mean, I'm assuming that the, um, the black, the red, and the blue are hot lines with the white being a neutral. But so for per every four channels, there's a, uh, or excuse me, for every, uh, yeah, every four channels, there's a card or there's a power input. Um, so just looking back at the master input section here, this is pretty cool. You can just see how neat all the wiring is in here. It's gorgeous. So at this point in the video, we're gonna pull the um, faders here we go everybody here we go it's all taken apart um, so we've got all the fader modules out we've got all the channels out so here is what this looks like here's all the fader modules all stacked up um, and then I've got all of my channel modules over here 
stacked up. So the channel module will stack pretty pretty nicely. Um, the uh, the aux masters and the groups do not. So I need to come up with a more permanent uh, storage situation for this. But I actually have another project that I have to build in the shop, so I need to get the console out of here um, just so that I have room to bring in bring in another project. Um, but I just needed to get this thing kind of sort of assembled. So the interesting thing here is the weight. Um, it's, uh, it's still immensely heavy. The frame is still immensely heavy. Um, but I can, I can actually move it myself. So um, just to give you a heads up on some future videos that are coming up, uh, hopefully sooner than later, I talked with a moving company um, earlier this week, and they said that they can schedule um, a, a, a move sometime next week to, uh, to get this done, which is why um, the, the videos are coming out fast and furious now because I'm just trying to get this done. So I do have a custom stand in production for this. So as soon as the stand is done, the console can go. So um, we're going to obviously document all of that, but uh, here's the end of it. And uh, we appreciate everybody stopping by and we'll, uh, we'll have another video out for you soon. Thank you. See you soon.